We know that a substance can be in different states. For example, water can be in a solid, liquid, or gaseous state. Heating or cooling a liquid, you can get solid matter, ice, or gaseous matter, steam. The transition of matter from one state to another is called a phase transition. In order for a phase transition to occur, it is necessary to change the temperature of a substance, its internal energy. But under these transformations, water molecules themselves do not change. From the school course of physics, you know that the boiling point of water, that is the temperature of the phase transition, depends on pressure. For example, the water in a pot on the mountaintop will boil at a temperature lower than 100 degrees Celsius. The dependence of the state of matter on pressure and temperature is usually illustrated by graphs called phase diagrams. The phase diagram of water shows that at the atmospheric pressure typical at the surface of the Earth, we can first melt the ice and turn it into a liquid, and then heat the liquid to its boiling point and turn it into steam. However, on Mars, ice will not melt with rising temperature, but immediately turn into steam. In addition to the gaseous, liquid, and solid state of matter, there is one more state, plasma. The ordinary substance consists of atoms and molecules. High pressures and temperatures destroy molecules and atoms lose external electrons. This produces plasma consisting of negatively charged electrons and positively charged atomic nuclei. For example, our sun is a substance in a state of plasma. At even higher pressures and temperatures that existed in the early universe, quarks and gluons of which protons and neutrons now consist were in a state that is commonly called quark-gluon plasma. At present, quark-gluon plasma may exist in the center of neutron stars and black holes. The process that results in formation of protons and neutrons from quarks and gluons as well as the process of transition of protons and neutrons back to quark-gluon plasma is called a phase transition. Scientists believe that the conditions necessary for the creation of quark-gluon plasma can be reached by colliding nuclei moving with a speed close to the speed of light and possessing energies of tens and hundreds of billions of electron volts. In order to obtain such nuclear collisions, Unique physical setups, colliders, are constructed.